Hello, my name is Hector Garza, and this is Una Plática. At a young age, I was always drawn to drawing, coloring, creating things, and it wasn't until when I was in college that I started to really focus in on influences um, in art, when I took art history, when I took my studio classes. And I was really drawn to the work of Frida Kahlo, Remedios Varo, more surrealist painters, uh, Diego Rivera. And I was seeing the way that they illustrated the world around them. Uh, and it was something that really inspired me uh, and my work. And that's the, the source of where the inspiration comes from. I consider myself a Mexican-American um, because I was born in Mexico and I became a naturalized citizen. I would say that I am from the borderlands, so I am from two distinct worlds, and it's hard to define. So I would say that I'm an artist working in the in-between spaces of um, opposing worlds. And in that creation, I've found that it is a multiplicity of things that can't be defined by one. I would say all my life I've looked up to um, my mom, my grandmother, my tias, uh, very strong women in our family that have been pillars in, in teaching us about our culture, um, the way they loved, the way they celebrated life. Those were the people and my family, my brothers and my friends are people that I look up to and I celebrate them in my work. Um, so those would be those that I, that I look up to. It is important to have Centro Aslan um, as part of the community because it is a place where culture comes alive through different mediums and it's a place where our cultural identities are illustrated through painting, drawing, photography. And it's something that helps the community to thrive and for the community to know that there is a place for them to be a part of and a place that they see themselves reflected in the traditions and the, the many people that they encounter when they come to Centro Cultural Islam. Um, so it is a vital part of our community. It is a, a vital part uh, in any thriving community. My favorite has always been the Dia de los Muertos um, because it allows us to be um, in tune with our ancestors, to tell stories uh, through these ofrendas. And the beauty of the ofrenda is that there's many ways of approaching it, many ways of celebrating our, our, our loved ones. So for me, it's always been a very vibrant um, celebration. So for me, my favorite is De Los Muertos, the way that people uh, come out and they celebrate. It, it's, it's a really beautiful thing to see. My favorite part about the San Antonio art is that it's all very different. It's, it's many voices, uh, but they come together in a very harmonious way. They brighten up places around the city that might not have access to art. So the art of San Antonio is very accessible to everyone, and I feel that it brings a, an intensity and an energy uh, to the city. I would like my art to inspire other people to tell their stories. I'm a painter, I work with mixed media, I work through these materials, but everyone should have access to any kind of material to tell their story. So for me, 
I would like for them to see my art as a way for them to also tell their story in whatever medium they have, but to, to really enter into that world of creativity and let the world know um, their story. My advice to any emerging artist is to be true to yourself. You can grow, you can learn, you can meet all these amazing people in your journey. At the end of the day, the choices are yours. All the creative choices are yours. It is your voice. And my advice is to create every day, be inspired every day, work every day. And there's always something new that is hidden or that is concealed. And as an artist, your path is your own. So enjoy the ride and don't let anyone stop you um, from creating and be true to yourself. For the Segundo de Febrero show, I created a piece titled De Aquí y de Allá to reference my own personal narrative of being from Mexico and being raised and naturalized in the United States. The centerpiece shows Cotilicue as armor, and from the center is the heart that for me is where all inspiration and the life force travels through. At the bottom, you find objects that relate to our culture and really reference those childhood memories, Dia de los Muertos, and also the Virgen de Guadalupe. The colors that I chose were intentional because identity isn't fixed. For me, identity is a spectrum of intensities that allows one to adapt to any world and bridge their experience to another's reality. And so for me, I used to think I wasn't from a particular place. Uh, so instead of saying, ni de aquí ni de allá, I embrace de aquí y de allá. But also opens up to possibilities that I am from many different places. For this year's Dia de los Muertos, my ofrenda is paying tribute to my grandmother and my grandfather, Hortensia Prado and Nicanor Prado. I have decided um, that they will be the ones that I honor. Uh, I learned a lot about spirituality and my faith um, with my grandmother. My grandfather, uh, I don't know that much about him. I was very young when he passed away. So the stories that I have collected have been given to me as gifts from my brothers, my other relatives in Mexico. So I can look back and, and really see those stories. So for this year's ofrenda, I'm cloaking uh, the base of the altar in purple um, with highlights of gold and yellow with the marigolds. They lived in a time um, in which there were so many possibilities and they sacrificed a lot for their family. So for me, I celebrate them um, with my ofrenda and I share of their story with the community.